From exotic pets to golden cars, here are 11 strangest things rich people spend money on. Number 11, Paris Hilton Doghouse. Celebrities and super rich people find seemingly outrageous ways to spend their money on things you could only imagine. Paris Hilton has inherited millions of dollars from her father's hotel industry and is a certified spoiled rich girl. Don't expect her dog, Tinkerbell, to be living like a peasant either. Her dog probably has a better house than you do. And this image showcases her doghouse on the right by the poolside with Paris Hilton walking a few of them. This isn't a doghouse, this is a dog mansion. This photo here shows Paris Hilton sitting inside the pink interior of the doghouse, happy her dogs are living the life of luxury. The whole thing reportedly cost $325,000, which even has a lawn and an iron balcony. Number 10, a pricey pigeon. We see pigeons on the street and don't really consider them to be worth much, if anything. They seem to annoy people and poop on our cars. A businessman from China, on the other hand, might think quite differently. He goes by the name of Hu Zen Yu, and he paid a jaw-dropping $328,000 for some type of fancy racing pigeon from Belgium. The website called Pigeon Paradise offers specific breeds for assuming you won't find scurrying for food. We couldn't find an actual photo of Mr. Hu's pricey pigeon, but it's gotta be good. Number 9. Mayweather's Gambling Habits Floyd Money Mayweather is known to live large and spend a lot of cash in ridiculous ways. He's got a different exotic car for every day of the week, but he indulges in some risky business from time to time. He enjoys sports gambling, and every now and then, you'll see betting tickets from Las Vegas for outrageous amounts of money. This photo here from his Instagram shows a bet he won, taking the Denver Broncos to cover the spread over the Jets in 2014, where he made a total of $627,000 profit. Now he's got even more money. He even talked his buddy 50 Cent into betting $1.7 million on him, winning the boxing match versus Manny Pacquiao. Number 8. White's Gentleman Club Membership the London aristocratic posh society deserves a special place on our list. Would you be willing to fork over £85,000 a year to be a member of this club? It might not seem too high for some wealthy fellows, but sorry ladies, only guys are allowed. Not only is this membership extremely expensive, but you gotta be pretty famous too. A can of coke can cost $20 and only the finest gay meat from all of England is served. Prince Charles is allegedly a member and had a bachelor party here. Much of what goes on here is fairly mysterious, but many humiliating or dark high-stake wagers are rumored to occur. The secrecy around the club has made it difficult to know for sure, but we know it's expensive to find out. Number 7. Dan Blazarian Armory so yeah, we don't know what this closet full of firearms is worth, but it's gotta be expensive. Dan Blazarian seems to have enough weapons to supply his own militia. Whatever gun he's got in his hand seems pretty intimidating as well. We understand the Second Amendment, but if someone breaks into this guy's home, how will he ever be able to choose which gun to select? This photo here of his armory seemed to have shown some illegal 50 caliber machine guns in the lower middle section, which are illegal in the US. He allegedly had his home in Hollywood broken into, but the criminals were unable to access the locked armory. Other tabloids claim that some weapons were confiscated by the LAPD. This might be a good reason not to show your gun room to the public on social media. Number 6. Markhor Hunting Expeditions a lot of people enjoy hunting and the primal feelings that come with it. We're sure these rich people can afford to put food on their plates, so that's obviously not the reason why they're doing it. Catching that rare trophy animal is going to come at a hefty price. The countries of Tajikistan and Pakistan are trying to appeal to hunters by allowing them to hunt the rare markhor sheep, which is known for their massive horns. For years, people were hunting it illegally, and money from the people paying to hunt them are supposedly used to conserve the environment. Hunting permits for the sought-after trophy animal start at $61,500 to be able to hunt four markhor, which makes it pretty expensive. This doesn't factor in transportation to these remote locations or getting travel visas to these countries. But if you want those horns on your mantle, be ready to pay the price. Number 5. Doomsday Bunkers a recent trend among billionaires seems to be the doomsday bunkers and more and more wealthy people are beginning to construct massive underground facilities. The end of the world will come someday, but the richer will be one step ahead of the game, living life underneath the uninhabitable earth. But these aren't your everyday simple bomb shelters. These are massive underground mansions. The Vivos Europa One company specializes in turning former Cold War bunkers or missile silos into mighty fine living quarters. This photo here shows an amazing mega pool with brown tiles fancy enough to satisfy the rich. And you'd have no idea it's completely underground. This would be the ultimate place to spend during the zombie apocalypse in style. Almost like nothing ever happened. Number 4. Travers Benyon if there's one guy who competes with Dan Bozerian for the most hated guy on Instagram, it would have to be Travers Benyon. 
This mega rich businessman works for big tobacco companies, and he reportedly spends up to $2 million for bikini models to hang out with him in order for him to promote himself. This photo here shows Travers Benyon with two women on a leash, and you start to wonder if these women had any self respect at all. He seems to know this type of imagery shocks people, and the scantily clad women we see in this photo makes you wonder if they had some insecurity problems. Do you see the three standing next to him on the balcony? It makes you think they actually got paid more to be more closely associated to this guy in some way. We should also probably mentioned that he does have a wife and kid. Number 3. Unusual Pets Celebrities certainly got the money to afford some exotic pets from around the world. You might be familiar with Mike Tyson's pet tiger from the movie The Hangover, but other celebrities have some crazy pets you won't believe. Kristen Stewart, the star of the Twilight movies, has a hybrid wolf dog she calls Jack. Kirstie Alley has some pet lemurs in her backyard which cost up to $50,000 to maintain. Vanilla Ice has a kangaroo wallaby hybrid called a wallaroo and Wei Noon has pet penguins. It's almost like a competition to see who can own the most unique pets sometimes. Number 2. Geoglyphic Signatures Are you extremely rich and would appreciate people being able to see your name from satellite? It's not a huge trend just yet, but we've seen a few examples of this so far. A man from the Middle East, Hamad bin Hamadan al Nayyan, funded a project where he carved his name into the land and his signature measures about a kilometer long. It's believed that this man owns over 200 cars, including several Mercedes F100 SELs. The signature was carved near a body of water on Al Futasi Island. This was located near the Persian Gulf, and they were trying to fill up his name almost like some kind of giant swimming pool. It doesn't appear to still be visible, but we imagine something like this would take a little bit of maintenance. There's also another one in Texas with the owner of the land carving his name out of trees. And number one, Golden Cars. We guess you finally made it big once you can afford to buy a golden Lamborghini. This appears to be a new fad that's taken place among the rich oil tycoons of Dubai and the Persian Gulf. Many sightings of wealthy London cars with Arab license plates have been seen in London and are painted gold like we see here. They normally tend to do this in countries outside their home country where they might be considered to be arrogant or immoral for having such a thing. Sometimes these cars are even left behind at airports, and they're brought to only be used for a short period of time when they're visiting a western country. We suppose it would impress some ladies, but hey, they gotta be compensating for something, right? 